So you bought yourself an ergonomic keyboard, spending not only hundreds of dollars, but also countless hours trying to master typing on the darn thing. But like, that's fine, I guess, right? You can't put a price on health. But hold on a minute. What happens when you're not at your regular desk? Most of the ergonomic keyboards that we've tested have been large and cumbersome enough that you wouldn't want to travel with them. So what, you're just doomed to aggravate your repetitive strain injury? Haha, <laughs> no my friends, for there is a light at the end of your carpal tunnel. Introducing Yogi Type, the foldable ergonomic keyboard. But is this thing a direct path to keyboard nirvana? Or is it more like downward dog sh Speaking of Nirvana, today's video is brought to you by TunnelBear. TunnelBear makes really, really simple privacy apps so people can enjoy a more open internet. Try TunnelBear for free at tunnelbear.com slash LTT. The Yogi Type comes in a bougie carrying case that will absolutely make people want to be your friend, and inside you'll find the base, wrist pads, and the keypad. Setup is a snap. At first, it might seem like you're typing upside down or something, since you're looking at the underside of the keyboard as you type. But actually, the Yogi Type is kind of like the Safe Type keyboard that we checked out before, except on steroids. The main idea of having a vertically standing keyboard like this is to prevent what's called pronation. That's when the two bones in your forearm crisscross, pinching tissue and blood vessels. Of course though, having the keys on the side makes them harder to see. And let's be honest, even the touchiest of touch typists will look at the keyboard sometimes. But instead of janky rear view mirrors, the inward angle of the key modules allowed Yogi Type's creators to implement a much more elegant visual aid, colored LEDs, and you can even switch them off if you prefer. And this angle has some ergonomic benefits as well, helping with extension and finger relaxation. Speaking of relaxation, the included wrist pads are super cushy, easy to adjust, and the best part is they slide so they don't inhibit your natural movements. This is so much better than having to hold your arms up the whole time, like on the safe type. My only gripe is that you can't adjust their height, and I think that they're a little bit too tall to fully alleviate the last ergonomic pitfall, ulnar deviation. Okay, so this is all quite positive so far, but what's it like to actually type on this thing? Well, at first it wasn't too bad since they've got tactile guides for both your index and pinky fingers, as well as this sort of inexplicable one on the uh, eight key. And most of the keys are in the same relative position as they are on a regular keyboard. Most of them. I mean, hey, I get it. This is a 10 keyless board and there's no room for keys on the foldable base. So you're just gonna have to get used to the more obscure keys like home and end having new homes on the end. But what about non-obscure keys? They moved the apostrophe key to no man's land and backspace, a key that I use a lot more than I'd like to admit, though probably still less than I should, has been moved to right beside the P key which means that when you make a mistake typing on this strange new keyboard, you have to rectify it by using your pinky in unfamiliar territory, which often leads to making even more mistakes, making you so unproductive that you just end up putting the Yogi type in a bin under your desk for two weeks while you review other stuff. But Linus, backspace has to go somewhere, doesn't it? Well, of course it does. And my vote is to take over some of that spacebar real estate. This would not only flatten the learning curve, but also make it more ergonomic since you have way more power up here than you do with your little finger. But I'm actually not gonna stop there. As is, the space keys are positioned to be pressed with the base of your finger, which works, and is actually kind of innovative, but it does disrupt your index finger's ability to continue typing. So our preference would be to strike the space and backspace keys with the thumb like you do on the Kinesis Advantage 2 or the Ergodox, except that these bloody joysticks are in the way. Not that thumbsticks are a bad idea inherently. So these are for controlling the mouse cursor, 
page scrolling, and right and left clicks. You can even switch between left and right-handed mouse configurations right on the board. And I'm positive that there are some users out there who need to be able to do that from a neutral position. The problem is that the mouse is effectively unusable. It has crazy acceleration, unruly steering, and I'm not sure if our right stick is broken, but we had trouble moving it at all without highlighting everything. If they insist on keeping the onboard mouse, I would suggest replacing the joysticks with marble-sized trackballs or something. Like, how cool would that be? One last complaint. Did anybody else notice that the keys on this side are staggered? And the keys on this side are all aligned? WTF! Anyway, should you buy this keyboard then? At about $350, it's $60 more than the awful safe type, but is better in just about every way, including the switches. This one is way less mushy. Though with that said, the advantage too is the same price, is mechanical, and though it doesn't fold up, it is portable in the sense that all the macros and the layouts that you program onto it are saved on board. So, I wouldn't say that it sucks, but the Yogi type has enough small things wrong with it at this point that giving it our full endorsement would be a bit of a stretch. Which can't be said about Squarespace. Squarespace is the place to go to build your own beautiful, functional website. They've got 24 seven support via live chat and email. They've got tons of great features, including lots of gorgeous templates, the ability to use commerce on any website. They all come with a free online store. They've got their logo designer. They've got cover pages, a feature that allows you to set up a beautiful one page online presence in minutes and the ability to publish content in Apple news format directly from the Squarespace blog. It's all easily managed in the cloud and their sites are super reliable. That's not actually in my talking points. That's just my personal experience with Squarespace. So head over to squarespace.com forward slash LTT and use code LTT to get 10% off your first purchase. Why not have a website? Go try it out today. So thanks for watching guys. If this video sucked, you know what to do, but if it was awesome, Hit that like button, get subscribed, or maybe consider checking out where to buy the stuff we featured at the link in the video description. Also linked down there is our merch store, which has cool shirts like this one and our community forum, which you should totally join.